meters produced by NADA. There we have a broad range and they can today measure between 1 hertz up to 90 gigahertz. So we have two basic meters, the MBM 550 and the MBM 520, and they can be connected to any of those uh, probes. So by changing the probe, we can uh, change the frequency range um, of the instrument. A typical antenna is going from, for example, 100 kilohertz up to 6 gigahertz. And here in Europe, we have many times the procedure that if you're, uh, you can start, if you want to make a test of an area, if it is safe or unsafe, you can do a measurement um, with a broadband meter. And as long as the, uh, the value is, let's say, 10% of limit value only, you don't have to do any further action. That means you can say this room um, uh, complies and there is no uh, other measurement necessary. If you are above 10% or 20% of limit value, then you have to take further action. For example, at close to mobile phone stations, you have to make the extrapolation to the maximum traffic. So all the probes we are supplying for the N NBM, they have an automatic probe recognition. So you just plug it in and automatically the basic meter will recognize which probe is con uh, connected and all calibration data and so on are automatically transferred into the basic meter. Also, uh, all the uncertainties you are getting for the instrument are already done uh, for any mix between probes and basic meters. So you can use any meter with any probe. The specification inside of the uh, data sheet take into account that there might be a little difference between two probes or two basic meters this is all included, so you have the full flexibility there. Saying this, this is okay for the standard calibration of the meters. If you have an accredited calibration of such a meter, then this calibration, the accredited calibration is only valid for a specific basic meter connected with a specific probe. So there, uh, you don't have any more this uh, allowance to change between different probes and different basic meter. Your accredited calibration report is only valid for the combination which was calibrated at that time. The basic meter, for example, the 550 has a built-in microphone to uh, re record your voice comments during the measurement. So there's no more need to type in an information also records if a GPS device is connected, it also records your position. And so everything is recorded, including day and time and position, voice command, uh, plus for sure the measurement result. Uh, the display is an old-fashioned trans reflective LCD display, but this meter is designed for operation outdoor and as bright as the sunlight, as better as the visibility of this, uh, the display. This is finally what counts. Uh, there are soft key functions available. You have uh, also an, a keyboard, which you can uh, just uh, utilize by the uh, thumb. So there is no need to use two, two hands. So the second hand can be used for your own safety. Remember, you are many times uh, working on antenna sites on a very high level.